Okay, here I have a lovely gold edition of Elite or Arc Elite because this is the version for the Acorn Archimedes series of computers, including the 3000, 5000, and subsequent machines like the 7000, which I have here. There it is, very nice. Uh, this is a uh, quite a rare version and this goes for quite a lot of money on sites like the eBay. It was written uh, by some chap called Warren and Clive in 1991 and was rewritten from the ground up and is the first version of Elite which actually you're not the centre of the universe. There are fights which go on in the background and trades and there's a sort of AI system where the computer can interact with itself. So Good games come and go, and great ones last much longer. We've got to remember the original Elite came out in 1984, so this is seven years later. Generations have played it, but some have not even beaten it, but none have tired of it. Now the original award-winning formula of space exploration, trading and combat has been enhanced and extended as never before using the power of the Archimedes to present the ultimate computer game experience. And once again, the time on a challenge. Have you got it what it takes to become one of the elite? And yeah, it works quite well on the Archimedes machines. They have the grunt to power it nicely at a smooth rate. And inside we get lots of things. First, you'll notice a five and a quarter inch mini floppy disk which I think has some sort of save games on it and the manual presented here in all its glory dedicated to Petra I just presume that's not the um, mountain is it a mountain or is it a place where people died what the hell am I talking about the Cobra Mark III trading and combat craft is the ideal ship for new traders there uh, we go on, data monitors, Cobra Mark III flight, important console readings, close encounters, scanning, malarkey, combat readings, the philosophy of killing, it's always an important philosophy, space stations, computer assisted docking, protective zone, trading, game plan. Of course this game has copy protection so you might find it useful if you've got the game to join me on this quick Flick through the manual and spot which word you need to put in on the boot up screen. Anyway, we also get this, which is a novel called The Dark Wheel. It's part of the Elite set and it's basically from the moment that the trading ship Avalonia slipped its orbital berth above the planet Lave and began to maneuver. It's just about what you're doing and yeah, it's a novel because you used to get stuff like that in games. Novel ideas great things. Here's the disc, hybrid, elite, and also we have this lovely keyboard uh, grid type thing to go over your keyboard. And all oh, this lot, look at all this shizzle. We've got all the different craft types. We have Adder, Anaconda, Asp2, Boa2, Bushmaster, Keyman, Cobra Mark 1, Cobra Mark 3, Copperhead, Fur de Lance, Crates, Ooh, I one out. Mamba, Moccasin, I think there's 24 of these cards, Moray, Orbit Shuttle, Python, as you can see they're not very well defined, they're still quite polygony as you'd expect, Racer, Sidewinder, Sleeps Tonight, Fargoid, Transporter, Viper, and Worm. So you get a stack of those cards, and you get this little, oh, we've got some more here. Gecko, Hognose. And yeah, we get this little um, pad for you to record your escapades on when you can, your trades. We've got food, textiles, Radioactive slaves, liquor, wines, obviously not much progress has been made in the future. Alien items, gemstones, and there's quite a few of these left in here. As you can see, some have been used, but then why wouldn't you use it? It's a fantastic game. So all those cards. And yeah, I've actually just sold this, but yeah, it's a bit upsetting, but I'm probably not going to play it too much. And... Like I say, it does go for quite a lot of money, so 
There's Elite Hybrid. Arc Elite as it's known, the Archimedes Machines. Lovely job. Thank you.